the Olympic thing was a, a big deal, we could tell right from the first. Uh, going back a little bit, I had finished the rocket belt in the early 70s, and I had gradually learned how to fly it, um, tentatively. And when the Olympic thing came along, I thought, oh boy, I'll be, this will be great, I'll do it myself. So I zipped down there and went up to the top of the uh, Coliseum and looked down and I thought, no way, <laughs> not me. <laughs> so I called Bill Souter, who was the ace rocket belt pilot guy that we had been using. Nelson starts pleading with me. And so there's no problem. Whatever you need, you got it. And um, I thought, geez, you know, not now. For the flight, I was to take off from the top of the parasile in the Coliseum, which is 90 feet above the uh, playing field. They insisted that we be all strapped in and ready to fly long before we needed to be. And you really don't want to pressurize the belt early, but we had to. And in the hot sun, the pressure kept rising. Now, the higher the pressure gets, the more powerful the, the thing is. At the time, I weighed about 200 pounds, which was heavier than I'd ever flown before. And it's about the opening and the announcer saying, and in front of six billion people across the world, you know, and I'm up there adjusting the pressure regulator while Bill's standing there ready to go. And they're doing a countdown, sort of. So I was thinking, if I don't get it high enough, he's gonna go ch 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 which will be really embarrassing. And so it slipped and it went about 615 pounds pressure and I locked it and I said you're ready to go Bill. Nelson keeps looking down at it with this worried glance and it's hard for the pilot to, to look around and see it and I thought oh Jesus this thing is gonna gonna take off hotter than a pistol and when he launched it just launched him across the stadium. I had never experienced the takeoff like that it just blew me off of there You've done this so many times and never gone on your ass in public. This is not the time. Ronald Reagan's up there in the press box watching. The world is watching. And the machine is overpressurized. And nothing's right. And well, you know, what have I got myself into here? I could feel the power I had. And I knew, I, you know, Houston, we got a problem here. We've got more power than we can use. You know, you ask people later and they say, well, it was about a half a minute or two minute flight. It was 14 seconds. But I landed and, uh, you know, just barely. Um, did the wave, did the whole thing, and then that was it. It was over. It, it was the biggest moment in my life, and it was over. So that was it, 14 seconds, and that's definitely the most famous rocket belt flight because it's was such a big deal for the Olympic opening.